Hello, my name is Jonathan McCracken, and I'm the author of Test Drive, ASP.NET, MVC, a new book from Pragmatic Bookshelf. Today I'm going to be walking you through a tutorial on building a very simple ASP.NET MVC application. This app is called Quotomatic and comes from the first chapter of the book. Quotomatic, like the name implies, generates a famous quote randomly and displays it to a web page. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new Visual Studio project. There are lots of different options to choose from here, but we're going to create an ASP.NET MVC2 project. Next, it will prompt you to create a Visual Studio unit test project, but we're just going to say no. A big part of this book, of course, is how to test drive your code, but for the moment, we're just going to get our feet wet with ASP.NET MVC. Starting in the second chapter of the book, we'll introduce how to use NUnit in test-driven development. So once Visual Studio loads, you'll see the default page open to the home controller. Home controllers are the centerpiece of the MVC framework. They coordinate between web requests and pages that are eventually rendered. To demonstrate how the whole MVC project sits together, we'll open the Visual Studio Solution Explorer on the right here. As you can see, we have controllers that sit in the controller directory. Models, which are the domain or data transfer objects, such as the quote object, which we'll create in this tutorial, sits in the model directory. And finally, you have views, which are the pages that render different forms of your models. The home controller has two views, the about ASPX page and the index ASPX page. In this tutorial, we're going to be modifying the index ASPX page. So we'll go back to the home controller so we can start working on building Quotomatic. Controllers are made up of special methods called actions. What makes them special is they return an object called an action result. The index action is the action we'll be modifying here. So we're just going to remove this old code and start replacing it. We're going to assign viewData.model to a quote object via a method called ChooseRandomQuote, which as the name implies will generate a random quote object. ViewData.model is a special property that is accessible via the view when it needs to render the model. So let's quickly generate this quote class so that the home controller will compile. Let's go back to the Solution Explorer and then we can start to create this object. What we want to do is right click Add New Item and then we select from a list a plain old c -sharp class. To save time, I will paste the code from the book for this quote class. The quote class has two properties, contents and author. We also have two example quotes from Andy Warhol about the future and Louis Hector about time. There is also the choose random quote method, which randomly passes back one of these two famous quotes. The next thing we're going to do in the home controller is render a view by convention. The convention follows the name of the action, which is in this case an index. So let's open the solution explorer and navigate to this view views home index.aspx. Inside the view, we use things called HTML helpers that will render the markup. For here, we're just going to use an HTML.displayFor helper in combination with the lambda expression m equals n. In the rest of the book, we'll show other HTML helpers that can do various other things. So let's fire up our application by hitting F5 so we can see our work. As you can see, it generates the quote for our model. Now hopefully time does not get the best of you when you're reading this book. 